Welcome to the fourth edition of the Wikimedia Coolest Tool Award. It's time once again to celebrate the awesome work of our amazing technical community. Tools are at the heart of what we do here at Wikimedia. So each year, we ask our community to nominate their favorite tools. For us, a tool is simply a piece of software used in our community to perform a task. This can be a bot, a gadget, user script, APIs, mobile applications, extensions, websites, and web services. It is said that to create the best of anything, you need a bit of everyone. Our tools are created, maintained, and supported by a diverse number of amazing people around the world. This includes writing code, design, testing, documentation, reporting bugs, or showing others how to use a tool. This is a celebration of our technical contributors as much as it is about the tools they give us. A big dance goes to all of you who nominated your favorite tools. Now let's go meet the winners. Citation Hunt, a fun tool for quickly browsing and source snippets on Wikipedia. If you are new to editing and are wondering where to start getting your feet wet, Citation Hunt is also for you. Wikipedia articles require reliable, published sources that directly support the information presented in an article. Citation Hunt gamifies this process by helping editors provide sources for unsourced snippets in an article. Let's take a look at it. Citation Hunt also comes in several languages. As you can see here, you first need to make sure you are logged in. It allows browsing snippets randomly or by article categories or topic. In this case, let's look, let's look at the topic FIFA World Cup. So we see a snippet that's not sourced. So in order to provide a source, we can just click, I got this. And it takes us directly to the snippets. We can just click edit source. And we'll make sure our case is well positioned. Then with the help of the referencing toolbar, we select the templates, in this case, the web URL. We paste in our URL, title. Website name. And we set our, our source. And just like that, we provided a source. If we preview, we see our citation. And the citation hunt also provides a leaderboard to keep track of the top editors in the last 30 days. That's pretty cool. And that's citation hunt. Citation!
more menu is a gadget script which adds a drop-down menu to pages that are not special pages. The drop-down offers many useful links to advanced tools for Wikimedians in one single place. With two clicks, you can access page-related blogs, several analytics tools and statistics about the page, check and improve links and references on the page, move or purge it, or listed subpages. If you go to a user page, there is a second drop-down, with links to logs about the actions of this user, several statistics about the user, and links to their uploads, groups, writes, and thanks. This tool provides a simple and convenient way to get quick access to common actions, for example when you want to check a potential copyright violation or look into other historical data. The tool is available in many languages, and you can also customize links by editing your common.js page. Thank you for this cool tool. PetScan is a powerful and flexible tool for creating a collection of wiki pages using categories, page properties, wikidata, and more. Here's an example. Lately, I've been into acoustic guitars. We can start with the Wikipedia category, acoustic guitars, and let's get all the articles in the subcategories and sub-subcategories as well. That's category depth two. and we get 617 results. Now, the results have a lot of musicians, which is not what I was looking for. I want articles about the acoustic guitar, but not musicians who happen to play guitar. So I can add a few negative categories, and it will exclude those. I don't want articles from acoustic guitarists, or classical guitarists, or composers for the classical guitar. That's good, now I have 120 articles. And they're really focused on acoustic guitars and important compositions for acoustic guitar. But let's say I want to focus on images. I want to know which articles lack a lead image. That's one of the things I can do from the Page Properties tab. Only articles with no lead image. No. And? There are 55 of them. You can do similar things with templates. Let's say I want every page with Infobox guitar model. So, here it is. Every page that has that template. 253 of them. And you can use wiki links as well. Finding pages that are linked from or that link to any page or set of pages. You can even use Sparkle Queries from the Other Sources tab. It's also a tool worth building on. Developed by all-star tool developer Magnus Manske as a more powerful replacement for the older category-based tool CatScan, it was rewritten a few years ago in the language Rust. In addition to the web interface, it can output results in a number of machine-readable formats like CSV, JSON, and Wikitext. And every time you run a query, you'll get a pet scan ID for that query. So you can run the same query again later, and if the data has changed, you'll get updated results. 
I'm just one of the people who build on the power of PetScan in my own tools. I've integrated PetScan into Programs and Events Dashboard, so if you're running an event where you only care about edits to a certain set of articles, if you can figure out the right PetScan query to represent the articles you care about, you can use that to limit the statistics to just edits to those articles that PetScan finds. And don't worry, PetScan has plenty of documentation on Meta. You are a developer and you wrote a patch which changes software behavior in MediaWiki or one of its extensions. You published your patch for review in Wikimedia Garrett and you want others to easily test your changes without everyone having to set up a local test instance of MediaWiki. Here comes Patch Demo. Patch Demo allows other developers and users to quickly see what a patch changes in the user interface. Paste the number of your patch in Garrett and select the configuration of your MediaWiki test instance. Select a language or content from a Wikipedia to import into your test instance. After your MediaWiki test instance has been created, check the result of your patch. For comparison, here's the same page on a live wiki without the patch applied. Patch Demo makes quality assurance easier as anyone can quickly test a patch in a clean environment. Congratulations! A lot of different tools exist to see various information about IP addresses. A geolocation service, the Whois database, StalkToy, and others. Thankfully, there is a new tool, Bullseye, created by General Notability, makes it possible to display all information on a single page. Bullseye is available at bullseye.com toforge.org. Once you log in there via your Wikimedia account, you can start querying. Enter any IP address you want, and Bullseye will display all information it has. You will easily learn the geolocation of the IP address, projects where the IP address is blocked, or which ISP has the address registered. Information from IP check is also included. Make it easier to judge, whether the IP address is a proxy or not. Thanks to both sides, 
Check users and administrators now no longer need to spend hours querying multiple different tools. Since 2021, all information they need is easily available in Bullseye. Congratulations to General Notability for winning the coolest tool award in the category of newcomer. Wiki 99 is a project to create 99 Wikipedia articles of a certain topic in every language. It helps editors find out which articles they could create or edit. Wiki 99 has lists for several topic areas like food, LGBTQI+, medicine or world history. Each list is a table. The columns show in which language Wikipedias the article for an item exists or not. The last table column is the Wikidata identifier for the item. How is this done? If you look at the wiki text of this table, you can see that it calls a module called Wiki99 and passes the Wikidata queue identifiers for each item in the list. Then it checks in which Wikipedias an article exists for each Wikidata item. The result is shown as the table. As an editor, you can see which articles you could create in your Wikipedia. Or, if available for your language, you can use content translation to create an article by translating it from a different language. Wiki99 helps make important knowledge consistent and available in multiple languages by guiding editors explaining what is missing. It improves language diversity in our movement. Thank you for this great tool. Q. One eight six one eight six two nine Q one three zero five four eight six Q two three 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 five eight Q six eight eight five four Scalia is a pretty sweet project for showing off the potential of Wikidata, and especially the effort to make Wikidata into a database of published scholarship. Here's an example. Wikipedia researcher and free software activist Benjamin Mako Hill. Scalia gives a little bio based on his Wikipedia entry and his Wikipedia article, but when you scroll down, that's where things get interesting. You get a list of publications. These are each articles that have Wikidata entries and list Mako as the author. And then you get charts of his publications over time, color-coded for whether he was first author, last author, or listed in the middle, as well as some visualizations of topics he publishes about. And you can click around from there to see more connections. For example, the topic Wikipedia. 
we can find other recently published research about Wikipedia, see which other authors have published a lot about this topic, and we can even find this wild co-author graph. I think there are two great uses for Scolia. You can use it to convince academics why Wikidata is important and what it's capable of, and it's also a genuinely useful tool for exploring topic areas. There's so much effort being put into adding scholarly metadata into Wikidata that it can be a useful discovery tool for research. So check it out at scolia.toolforge.org. Twinkle is a popular gadget. It won the Coolest Tool Award 2019 in the Egg Beater category. If you enable Twinkle in your preferences, under Gadgets, it adds a drop-down to automate some common tasks, like reporting vandalism, warning vandals, requesting deletion or protection, or tagging articles. You can configure the exact displayed options on Twinkle's own preferences page. But how to access Twinkle if you have a small screen, for example on a mobile phone? This is where the Twinkle mobile script comes handy. It is a tiny user script which adds your Twinkle options to your user menu when you use the mobile Minerva skin. With two clicks you can perform the same tasks on article pages as if you were on a bigger screen. And, of course, it also works on user pages. Thanks for supporting improving Wikimedia content also on small screens and congratulations to Twinkle Mobile. Have you ever wondered how to upload thousands of items and files of Wikidata and Wikimedia Commons with relative ease and convenience? I present to you OpenRefine. This tool helps you to conveniently navigate and explore huge data sets. As you can see here, there are 1,300 proofs, which means 1,300 potential items that could be uploaded on Wikidata using this tool. This tool also helps you to clean and transform data, and it also helps you to match and reconcile data to already existing Wikidata items, as you can see here. The tool also has a feature called the schema, where you can actually edit the schema for the Wikidata item that you'd want to upload on Wikidata. Through the schema feature, you can actually determine the, the, the parties and the statements that you want 
your items to contain before uploading them to Wikidata. There is also a feature that helps you to upload your items directly to Wikidata, which is the upload edits to Wikidata feature. Then there is also the export to quick statements feature that helps you to upload items to Wikidata via quick statements. Thanks to these and its other many wonderful features, the two wins the egg beta category for the 2022 plus two award. We say a big thank you to the dedicated community committed to improving the tool and the developers for developing such a cool tool. Articles, a collection of notebooks to analyze articles created by a user on Wikipedia. Wikibooks printable version, a multilingual module that automatically creates a Wikibook print version from its table of contents, complete with navigation. Thank you for joining us and see you next year. Katıldığınız için teşekkürler. Sana görüşmek üzere. Ya da muasey. Ya beş ya afes eseyi.